Ariel Hawani alongside Mauricio Shogun Hua, who meets Brandon Vera this Saturday night, live and free, UFC on Fox number four. Mauricio, it's good to see you again. A lot of questions for you, so let's get right to it. Earlier this week, Dana White announced that the winner of this fight would get a title shot. Then there was a lot of fan backlash, and then he announced, well, the guy who looks most impressive in the main event and co-main event will get the title shot. It seemed like a lot of people didn't think Brandon, even if he beat you, deserved the title shot. It seems like you're kind of losing out here, because you got the title shot, and now you have to sort of be the most impressive. Are you annoyed about this? Pelo contrário, eu tô é, muito motivado por isso que ele falou. Eu tô focado 100% no Brandon Vera e não tô pensando em outra coisa depois disso. Só penso nisso. No, I think that we can use like a motivation for for Saturday. You know, right now I'm just thinking next Saturday. I'm very focused on this fight, and I, I don't want to 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 start to think about what is going to happen later. Right now, the most important, my main goal is, is next Saturday. I'm just curious, are you sort of rooting for Dan Henderson to beat John Jones because you had that great fight? It seems like there's a better chance of you fighting him again for the title than John Jones, considering what happened last March in Newark. How is it? It would be easier for you because you fought a much more hard fight with Dan Henderson than with John Jones. It would be easier for you to fight for the cinturon? No, I don't think about that yet. I'm thinking about the fight on Saturday, but if you have this chance, after the fight, I'll be very happy. It doesn't matter, as I told you, right now I'm focused on next Saturday, but it doesn't matter, if you want to be the belt, you must uh, fight for with, uh, anyone, so it doesn't matter. You've always been known as such a, a tough fighter, a great fighter, you, know, you, you never turn down a fight, and then it seems like when all this stuff came out about Glover Teixeira and Dana White, people were starting to question you a little bit. Did you feel like that was a little unfair to make all of that so public about you? I think each one has a personality. E se ele, se ele achou que eu, que eu não aceitei e foi um erro meu, eu acho que ela tem, tem a sua opinião. É minha equipe e eu não aceitamos essa luta e isso que importa. Não é verdade, você sabe, não é uma minha decisão, é uma decisão que eu fiz com o meu time, com os meus amigos, os meus amigos de treino. Então, decidimos que, para agora, não é uma boa escolha. Todos que conhecem o meu background, sabem quem é o fight que eu estou contra, então, eu não me importo com isso. Is it true that you asked to be released rather than fight Glover? É, se é verdade que você preferia ser cortado do UFC? Não. Eu não sei de onde que tiraram isso. Em nenhum momento eu falei isso. Never, never. I never, I never mentioned this. We want to know uh, from where I come from because uh, I never talk with uh, Dana White or someone in the UFC about that. Never. Are you going to ask him this week when when you see him? Are you going to talk to him about this? Você quando encontrar ele vai perguntar alguma coisa em relação a isso? Se te interessa perguntar isso? Não. Okay, I understood that. Why does Brandon Vera interest you? Why was this a fight that you wanted? Assistindo uma luta dele. Ele é um cara agressivo, gosta de maitai, e isso, isso todos gostam, os fãs gostam, o público gosta, então com certeza vai ser uma luta interessante. Ele é um cara agressivo como eu, como eu gosto de maitai, com um bom background de background maitai, então eu acho que esse é o fight que todos os fãs querem ser um fight muito agressivo. Two last quick things. How long did it take for you to get uh, physically back on track after that fight against Dan Henderson, since you were so banged up? Quanto tempo fisicamente você precisou para se recuperar da luta do Dan Henderson? Two weeks. Two weeks. That's it. Yeah, because I don't broke nothing, and I only only fala que eu sou um inchaço. I I don't broke any any bone, né? Just some some. Uh, yeah, and I uh, two weeks resting. That was I was okay. And final thing, Julio, great guy. I like him very much, but I'm just curious. You were so linked to Eduardo Alonso for so long. We spoke to him this week. What happened there? Why is he not with you anymore? I understand. Because I believe, in fact, everyone in their own area. I think Julio does the part of the empresarial. Julio does the training. I have my team that is in Curitiba, so I think everyone in their own area. It's very important in this sport that you have a, a good team around you, you know, everyone in a specific area, like me in business management, Gida, that's the red coach, Sergio Moraes, that's the Jiu-Jitsu coach, you know, everyone in your uh, speciality taking care of your, only your own business okay. and not interfering in the other in, in, in the, the work of the other guys. So you're happy now with the way things are? Very happy. Okay. Thank you so much and good luck. We hope so.